Please welcome to the stage Henry Timms, President and CEO of the 92nd Street Y. Good morning. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the United Nations Foundation, UNDP, Mashable, and the 92nd Street Y, uh, welcome all around the world to the Social Good Summit. Um, I wanted to start by taking us back uh, to the first Social Good Summit, which was nine years ago. And when we started the Social Good Summit, we had this idea. We thought, well, look, there are all these big issues at the UN, the economy, politics, uh, society. And then there's all this emerging technology. And, 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 and those two worlds ought to be brought closer together. So the original vision of this event was to bring together what was happening behind the closed doors at the UN and what was happening in the open world of the internet. And if you go back nine years and put yourself in this hall, the conversations we had then were super optimistic. We had really big and exciting ideas about how the world was going to change. At our worst, we almost became kind of utopian. Right? All these apps would save the world. We could swipe right and eradicate poverty. And of course, when we thought about the world of the future then, we used some big terms. We promised that the world would be democratized. We promised this era of empowerment. And of course, that isn't the world that we've ended up building. Uh, nine years on from that social good summit, the conversation we're having today is no longer peripheral as it was at the start of the social good summit. A and I have to say, with some sadness, it's no longer as optimistic. Um, the, the era of democratization we were promised has ended up at a point where democracy is actually around the world under some threat. And at a time when we were promised that this would be a time of much more empowerment, actually what we see increasingly around the world is a pivot towards a more authoritarian state. We see strong men re-emerging, often supercharged by some of the very technology that we thought would liberate us. So what does that mean for the idea of social good? What does that phrase mean? What does this event mean? I'd argue that it means much more than social good at its worst, which is just a marketing buzz phrase. And I would argue it actually brings to the fore today a very, very big question, which is the question people always ask themselves, which is what does it mean to be good? What is our sense of the good? The big moral, the big philosophical, the big economic, the big political questions of our time have become, to a large degree, technological questions. And the interplay here at the Social Good Summit today asks us all to challenge ourselves to think about how do we ensure that a world of greater technology is also a world of greater humanity. That's the driving challenge of the Social Good Summit. And as you look today at the people on our stage and you look at the amazing voices around the world joining this conversation, I think the extraordinary thing about this event and this community is that these are voices of hope that in a world where so many people are now taking part, we might end up with the world where so many people become so much more powerful.